Today we're trying something cool. You ever see those uh, Jake Paul thumbnails and Logan Paul and those guys that do the uh, colored border around them? You ever wonder how they do it? Hmm. I'm going to show you right now. Here's a brand new banger. Brought to you by... You're telling me you don't hear things at night. This place isn't haunted, man. What was that? I don't know. Are you crazy? I'm not giving him my Doritos. Pause off, ghost. <laughs> See, she knows better. <laughs> no. It's gone. Look, <laughs> sorry. Okay, first we pick our image to open up in GIMP. I want to make it as easy as possible. You go layer, transparency, then alpha to selection. This highlights the image that you want to work with. Uh, feel free to pause the video at any time during this to keep up or keep track. Next, you want to hit select, then grow. I chose by 10 pixels just to make the, the blur a little wider. You can go five, it's up to you. Like I said, trying to make it as easy as I could for you to follow. Okay, then you hit OK. Next up, we're going to go Layer, the New Layer. Now we're going to name it Grow. You can name it whatever you want. I just chose Grow. Transparency, and then OK. Next, we're going to select the bucket tool and the paint can looking thing. Pick the color you want as your background. It could be any color you like. I went with my colors, uh, different colors for different uh, thumbnails that I would make, but you can also do white, uh, clear. Now click the image. Now when you do, don't freak out. It's going to Make the whole image that color. You didn't destroy it or anything, so don't worry. Now you're going to left click on the glow tab. Now you're going to hit the arrow down button. That moves it down below that. Now your image is looking the way you wanted it. Okay, next we select and then none. Left click on the glow on the right side just to highlight it. Then you go filters, blur, and then Gaussian blur. Now what I did to skip ahead is I just set both the numbers to 50 for the left or the right. Make sure the method is RLE. Make sure that's selected. You can put in whatever number you want. Once you have it, now click OK. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Uh, leave some comments down below of some helpful videos that you want me to do. I use a lot of free programs. That's why I'm posting tips and tricks on free videos. Make sure to share these with your friends. It's a quick, easy way to do this, and it's free, so you can't beat that. Next, you want to go to File, Save As, and then rename the file. Like I changed it to pink. Just pick whatever color you did. Now, when you go to Export This, make sure you select Merge Layers. That's very important. Otherwise, it would be messed up. So export, merge layers, make sure everything's selected. Okay, now you have your image. Uh, when you look at it on desktop, it shows up transparent on the desktop, but it shows up black background whenever you open it in like Windows Photos. Don't worry, it's just the way it is. 
you can always go back in later and touch it up and make it perfect if, if you like. Uh, thanks again. I appreciate it. Hope this helped. See you soon. If you're new here, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest videos that I'm putting out. I try to put out videos at least once a week, sometimes two and three times a week. Stick around. You're really going to enjoy yourself.